Hello little artist birdie here and in this video we are going to be painting our greeting card. So for this project you're going to need your white piece of paper and then your, let me grab mine, your brown card and your brown card will have little stickers on it. My stickers are blue. Let me get my stickers right here. Um, my stickers are blue, but yours will be white. You're going to peel off that sticker part after we paint. So let's just not worry about that right now. But you're going to need this. You've got your envelope and then the card. So let's paint our card and then I'll show you how to put it together with your stickers. Okay. So for this one, the card is blank. So that allows you to paint however you want. You could paint anything in regards or relating to St. Patrick's Day, a rainbow, a leprechaun hat, a pot of gold, a shamrock, some coins, um, a leprechaun. You could do um, a horseshoe. Let's see, what else for, for St. Patrick's Day? I'm trying to think. Um, and then even if you didn't want to do a, uh, um, just not Valentine's, a St. Patrick's Day theme, you can paint it however you want. The idea about the greeting card is that you paint something, you put it on the card, you write a special note in that, and then you give it to someone special. Getting greeting cards is such a huge blessing and really brightens people's days. So you could give this to your grandparents, your mom, your dad, sisters, friends, teachers, aunts, uncles, whoever you want to gift your art to. So to start with, I'm going to um, have my canvas sit like this and I think I'm going to do a shamrock. So for shamrocks, um, they're a heart connected in the middle. So by that, I mean, I'm going to draw a heart out here, and this is going to be my center. So I'm going to just put a little dot there. And from that, I'm going to draw a heart with the pointy part of the heart at the center. Okay, and then I'm going to put a heart right next to this one. And we're going to do four hearts. Okay, and go ahead and turn your paper as you need. And then there's this area right here where the stem is going to come down. Okay, now I have a shamrock. So four hearts connected in the center, and you've got the perfect shamrock. Okay. Um, you also have stickers in your kit. You can use your stickers on your greeting card if you want. And add those fun things to it. If you have crayons or markers or colored pencils and you wanted to do a little mixed media, which means you use all sorts of different things to make art, you could do that too. You could add some other fun elements in there. And just have fun creating art. It's really what it's all about is having fun while we paint, color, create.
So you could simply put that on there and be done with it. I'm going to dip my brush into the yellow and I'm just going to add some yellow to the tips of my shamrock here. Kind of blend it in with the paint that's already there. It's kind of wet still. And it creates a little bit of a lighter green. When we mix yellow and green together, it kind of gives us a, a neon-y green. Kind of a spring green. So I'm just adding a little bit of yellow to the tips, blending that in with the green paint there. Add a little bit to there. That kind of just brings some dimension into our art. And then I'm going to go grab the yellow and just create these little lines around my shamrock and make it look like maybe it's falling or it's moving or it's dancing. Um, and so I'm bringing those lines around there. And I'm going to go into the green and do the same thing. And make them just a little bit bigger and wider. And again, we're just trying to create this sense of movement, like the maybe the shamrock's um, falling or it's shaking in the wind. Or maybe it's just dancing. And you could do that and just keep building out with all of your colors. That would be really pretty. I'm going to bring out some lines around the edge of my card using the green. I'll just create an outline or a frame. Just going to go all the way around. And there we go. The perfect little uh, St. Patrick's Day card. And again, feel free to paint yours however you want. But I hope you enjoyed your greeting card. Let's put this together. So you want to make sure that your greeting card is completely dry. You're going to have little white stickers in all your corners. You're going to peel away the top part of the sticker, the backing. And then that's going to leave it with a little sticky there. And then you're going to put your card right on top. Remember to make sure it's dry. And then you'll press it on. And now you have the perfect little greeting card. Let's see, mine's not quite dry yet, so I'm trying to be careful here. There we go. I think I got it. Okay. And then you can open it up and add your... Uh, message inside and then you've got your envelope to be able to send it to someone special. So I hope you enjoyed your um, kit this month, your joy, your little joy box. I hope you enjoyed painting and creating art and I can't wait to paint with you again next month. Have a great day. Bye guys.